my life was good. I write was good. I might get to it. Not out the woods, so bro, I got to do it. Be a monster. That's why my mantra is being onslaught from the long star. All right, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Jarese back at it with another episode of Real Talk. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and this is going to be a good 2023 for this channel. My goal is 5k subs at the end of the year and I'm pretty sure I can get there. So, fun uh, thing for this video, comment down below, let me know when you started rocking with me and um, yeah, let's get into the video. So, today's topic, Andrew Tate. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, in the long line of men who get canceled and or arrested for having an opinion, <laughs> Andrew Tate has joined the list. So, what exactly did Andrew Tate do, might you ask? Well, I've come up with a comprehensive list of YouTube shorts that I believe will fully explain what got this man canceled. So, without further ado, we'll take a look at each of the shorts, break them down, and you know how I do it. So, let's go. Out there who don't want to wear makeup, who don't want to be girls, who don't want to be told they're toxic because they want to go to the gym, who want to drive nice cars, who want to have money, who want to have hot chicks. And there's nothing wrong with us. We are not evil. We are not bad. We're not misogynistic. We're not out to hurt anybody. Let me tell you one more thing. When bad things happen, they call men like us. The feminists who hate us and call us toxic, the second they have trouble, they'll call a police officer. Do you think they want a feminist male to turn up or a man like me and you? They yeah, probably wouldn't want like a five foot eight, 90 pound soy boy with his nails painted to show up to quote unquote protect you from a robber. Just, just throwing that out there. But that's the quote unquote new generation of men that the government says they want, but you know. Government and society said they want, but you know. They need us and they use us. But the second we have an opinion, the second I decide to voice and talk about the things that we talk about, explain our points of view, they want to cancel us. Toxic masculinity, baby. They don't want us to speak. They just want us to defend them, build the railroads, build the roads, be the workhorses, be the slaves. And they think we're not allowed a point of view. Well, they made a fucking mistake. There's a large. And. I mean, where, where's the lie? Like, where's <laughs> where's the lie? All right, so that's number one. All right, number two. Every man, every woman knows that. Every woman will sit here and go, yeah, I want a man who's older than me. Of course, but if, if I say it the other way around, I'm misogynistic. It's just the reality of the world. So, so then we have to go into the other point. The point is this. When you were at your peak value, you had zero interest in monogamy. But then you find a man who's 35 at his peak value. He's finally struggled and worked because when he was 19, no girl spoke to him. When he was 23, he was broke. When he was 24, he had no life experience. When he was 25, he couldn't fuck. He finally gets to the point where he's now at his peak value. Him at 35 is you when you were 19. And then you're sitting there saying to him, no, you should be a monogamous. Da -da. It's like, well, you fucking weren't. You did whatever you wanted in your peak. Now I'm finally <laughs> got there. And I uh, shout out to Hot Girl Summer. So. What what is my man saying in this video, right? My man is literally saying, "Hey, females, all you got to do is be hot and then you get what you want out of life, right?" Guys, I can't just exist and get things. I'm sorry. I got to put in some kind of effort. I got to do something. I got to get on this camera. I got to make a video. I got to make y'all laugh. I got to do something. I can't just be and get everything I want like a female can. Sorry, it's just the truth of the world. And then when we literally point that out, that's when females go, I don't like that. I'm like, no. I had to work for my shit. God and L'Oreal gave you you. I had to fucking struggle. I had to go through hell to get on this yacht. You go on the yacht with an Instagram DM. I had to buy it. And now you're telling me I need to fucking settle down and, and behave and grow up? Fuck well, you. Men are more valuable as... <laughs> and I like how Brittany was going to say something, like, at the end, but... It's okay. I'm, I'm going to do a review on this whole podcast with my buddy, so stay tuned for that one. And it's going to be one of those uh, raw and uncut ones that, you know, I'm cutting up and uh, saying all kinds of uh, left shit. So y'all already know how I go. All right. And then, wait, that's the same one. Oi. Number three. I think the world has ever been equal. I'm not saying that women should completely and utterly be slaves. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that the modern society we live in has been built by men. All the roads you see, all the buildings you see, everything around you, men built. All of it. When women come along and say, oh, we're, we're just as important, you are just as important, but you do had a completely different role. You fulfilled a different role in society. And I think now, if you look at the roles of society, I believe men are still doing their job, but I don't know if women are doing their job. 
women's job always I'd say some men are doing their job and some aren't a lot of us are stagnant myself included so it is what it is was procreation to look after the family and to look after the man that's all that they had to do and the man would go out there and risk his life and spend his time building the modern world men are still out here building the modern world but when they come home now the girl's like oh why should I cook for you I think I think women are failing in their role I think women are failing I don't think the world has ever been equal I'm not saying that's what men would do get married but you don't right uh, so now you're in miami i can fuck anything in the club i don't have to marry any of them if i marry them i get wrecked <laughs> so let's all use our brains here what am i gonna do there's zero advantage to marriage in the western world for a man i've been saying this for god knows how long but there's still these weirdo people that still tell me oh you just haven't found the right woman i'm like well they haven't drafted the right laws so until um, you or somebody you know gets in there and uh, change the laws to where I wouldn't be screwed over in the event of a divorce. And or, I mean, the female just running away with the kid even if you don't get married and she just pops out a baby and becomes a baby. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm good on all of that. Because this new idea of new age feminism just basically destroys all men in the event of her leaving. If a woman marries a man and it goes wrong, she has emotional heartbreak, fine. If it, a man marries a woman and it goes wrong, he has emotional heartbreak. Plus, everything he has ever worked for is ripped out from underneath him, and he has to give that chick money forever. So when you make these rules and these laws, right, under the guise of feminism and equality, all this garbage, all you're doing is scaring men away from commitment. And then you have to add in the other hidden element, and the other hidden element is what I said earlier, is whose fault a lot of this is, is promiscuous women, right? If women were saying, if all women got together and said, we'll only have sex after marriage, guess what men would do? Get married. <laughs> it is literally great because I said that at work. <laughs> like, the guys only do what you allow us to do. Godly, all these chicks out here have a rotation of guys. So guess what? All the guys are going to have a rotation of females. It's like when you hear like in the rap songs, it's like, you know, the females be on they nigga shit and then, you know, the niggas be on they nigga shit and, you know, everybody like that's exactly what it is. Like I use the example of if females got together and said, hey, we're not going to sleep with any male who has a baby mama. Guess what? A lot of the males would be screwed and then that would make a chain reaction of the males coming down the line having to not make kids in order to get the access to the women so it's like come on now it's like but you don't right so now you're in miami i can fuck anything in the club i don't have to marry any of them if i marry them i get wrecked <laughs> so let's all use our brains here what am i gonna do there's <laughs> So I, th I think you get the point here. He's just one of those like kind of red pill, right leaning guys who literally just says the truth about relationships in the world. And you already know how the internet can't stand that nowadays. But last one. This is him talking about Romania, the country that he lives in, by the way. Poor country. I live in Romania, which is technically poor. It's one of the poorest countries in Europe. It's very. Which I didn't know before uh, this video. I thought Romania was decent figured what second world country maybe it is a second world country is that a thing second world very poor the average wage is like 400 bucks a month the police drive dacia logans the police drive cars that can't even go above 70 miles an hour i've never seen a police chase when the police stop me i say why don't people run we just outrun you he goes oh well you know why why run when you can just get ticket uh, it, it's very much people the, the, the police force isn't heavily armed like none of this shit but it's yeah and that's a cultural thing safe in general unless you piss off a big guy the crime is very organized there's no random crime it's very organized crime <laughs> oh man so to the arrest uh, yeah, yeah. so all those videos right there right he starts going viral, gets pretty big, he starts appearing on everybody's podcast, you know how it goes. Man gets too big for his britches and decides to uh, get into a little Twitter spat with the good old Greta Thunberg over here. Everybody's favorite um, climate activist. So, And then here's the thing, right? So hit the back arrow. I noticed, because I saw him get arrested and then I had to look at, look it up. When I saw it was Rolling Stones, Newsweek, The Daily Dot, The Independent, I already knew because I looked it up before I watched all those uh, shorts, right? I already knew. 
Like, man, he pissed off a leftist. So, ah, let's look at Newsweek's uh, fucking thing of this. So, it says, Greta Thunberg shut down Andrew Tate on Twitter. And let me just say, I got a homeboy who reposts, like, all this shit. He, he, he's the guy that's the leftist, like, oh, man, Greta Thunberg clapped back at Andrew Tate. Oh, she owned him. He, he's that guy. I won't call his name out, but uh, shout-outs to him. Tate tweeted at the 19-year-old Swedish climate change activist. Asking for Thunberg's email address <laughs> to send her a list of his cars and their enormous emissions. No, notice, notice the words there, <laughs> like enormous emissions. Like they're using, like charged language there. Like they're not slick. Tate also, whoops, included a video showing him using a private jet and sports cars. Intercut with clips of Thunberg's famous speech from UN COP25. And then over a day later, so it took her a day to <laughs> reply with the comeback, I guess. Well, it says December 27th and five hours later, so maybe he posted it like 11 or something. I don't know. Thunberg responded on Twitter with the comeback. And here's what she put. Uh, yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. <laughs> Congratulations, you stole every generic white girl's comeback since 2019. Congratulations, let's give her a round of applause. That burn was about as uh, burned as uncooked chicken, but, you know, whatever. Thunberg's tweet got over 300,000 likes within two hours. What do you mean by that? Congratulations, her Twitter account is filled with a bunch of idiots and bots that like everything she fucking says. Congratulations. She could literally put, I'm wiping my ass right now, and it would get over 250k likes just because all the retarded leftists on her fucking Twitter. And then, of course, you got the blue check marks because they never go one political slash ideological like, way of thinking, right? Like, they totally don't lean one way politically, right? Never. Greta just obliterated creepy misogynist Andrew Tate in a single post. It's like, bro, Dave, Dave, I hope I never meet you in real life, bro. I'm roasting the fuck out of you, and you probably gonna end up in a safe space fucking crying about, Oh my god, this... Uh, people of color are so mean. I just want to call him the N-word, but that's going to make me racist. Oh, God, this is this is why. He, he must be one of those conservatives. Uh, I bet he voted for Trump. <laughs> Where's my safe space? Like, Dave, I'm sorry, bro. I would roast the living shit out of you, bro. Greta Thunberg has done the dance and now owns Twitter. Of course, you got a black chick. Blue check mark. Lorraine King. 20 bucks says she's a single mom with probably at least two kids. <laughs> and there was me thinking 2022 had peaked. Yeah, because a little white girl saying, email me at small dick energy at get a life is... Oh God, it's it's incredible, guys. Jesus Christ, that burn. Oh man, it's worse than Kelso from fucking that 70s show. Burn! Like, oh God, you fucking liberals and leftists are fucking lame. 
<laughs> yes, police, I'd like to report the murder of Andrew Tate. I ironic, because the police are the one that came and got him, because, you know, reasons. <laughs> Ah, black woman with the blue check mark, even though they're always complaining about white women all day. Um, white guy with blue check mark who I'd roast because I know he's a fucking soy. And, um, folks, I don't care how much time you spend at the gym or how much of a tough guy you are, don't get involved in a flame war with a teenage girl, they will destroy you. Um, well, the teenage girl didn't destroy him, it was kind of the police state and society that has her backing because she has the right ideal beliefs in the political leanings so i don't i don't know about that like do i do i need to go on twitter and just start roasting the fuck out of this like this little girl i mean i know she's got like asperger's and down syndrome but i don't give a fuck like she talks shit just like everybody else so guess what this bitch can get roasted just like everybody else i do not give a fuck like, she want to talk about get a life at smalldickenergy.com. Bitch, get your face fixed at I got Asperger's.com. The fuck? Someone tweeted a screenshot of Tate's Wikipedia, which was altered. Joking Tate was knocked out by Thunberg in a kickboxing match. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's cute. Ah, good old liberals always being lame. <laughs> and then here, then here's how stupid the internet is, right? Here's how stupid the internet is. I'm going to wrap it up with this, right? You're going to love this, right? So, the police came, raided, I guess, I don't know, this man's uh, house after he was live streaming, I guess. And then they say they found out where he was, because apparently he was under the radar, I guess. He was off the grid or some shit. Apparently they only found out where he was because of the pizza box. Oh my God. Ah. This is what these people on the internet are saying, guys. This is what these people on the internet say. They're saying, after he got into his little Twitter spat with Greta Thunberg, he was live streaming, they saw he got pizza from Jerry's Pizza and the Romanian police were just like, oh, this, this Sandro, the Sandro Tate guy, man. He's over here arguing with Greta Thunberg. He says he's saying all these things to the women. Where, where the fuck is he? We need to get this guy. Oh, I just watch his live stream. I, oh, this is bullshit. I, I just want to get this guy. And uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He, hold on. What, what, what is this shit? What, 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 what is this? What, what is this? Uh, Jerry's, uh, Jerry's pizza. This, what, what is this, Jerry's pit? We got them, guys! We got them! Oh, 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 guys, we got them! 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 Roll out! Get the police! Oh. Like, that, that's what you're telling me. They saw him live streaming. They saw the pizza box and was like, Yup, we know the look. The police. In the country that he resides in. But... I'm pretty sure that most of the people that think this are part of those 300,000 people that liked and retweeted the shit in the two hours. So we'll just leave that there. But that's all I got for this one, man. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if I made a little bit of sense, a lot of sense, if I made too much sense down in the comment section below. Y'all already know I reply to most of my comments. But with that, it's been your boy Jerez back with another episode of Real Talk. Let's make 2023 a great year, guys. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. I'm out. Okay, 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 okay.